What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my experience for working over Christmas and New Year's at a casino as a security guard. Let's get right into this. Okay, so as I explained in my Christmas video, I managed to get a week off, a total of 12 days the week before Christmas. And that was awesome just to have that time off and to use up my holidays before they expire by the end of the year. Because if you guys didn't know about my job, I started back in May and there is six months, sorry, I think it's four months probation period where you can't take any vacations. So over the summer, couldn't take any vacation. But now that I've worked there this long, I know in the summertime, there's no point of taking vacation because all the full timers take their vacation then. So not only is it hard for us to get time off in the summer, but that's the time that we make the most bank because there's a lot of call-ins and we get a lot of overtime pay in the summer for us as part-timers. So I'm never going to take vacation in the summer anyways, but I never really thought about taking my summer and I knew I was going to lose it by the end of the year. So I managed to take my 12 days off and I knew by doing that, I will be working Christmas and New Year's anyways, which I wanted to because it was going to be time and a half on those dates over Christmas and New Year's. There's a total of three days, time and a half, that could be busy. Um, nobody really knew because sometimes it's busy at work, sometimes it's not. It all depends on what kind of promotions they're having, what kind of uh, prizes they're giving away and stuff like that. So nobody really knew what it was going to be like for Christmas and New Year's this year. So I'm just going to start off with Christmas. Christmas was extremely quiet. This is the second year that Hard Rock is taking over our location. And prior to Hard Rock taking over our location, normally the only time that our casino closed was Christmas Day. Starting at midnight Christmas Eve until noon the next morning, Christmas morning, it was normally closed. So a lot of our guests, our patrons, were used to the casino being closed at this time. Now, last year was the first time that it was open and it was extremely dead. That's what everybody was telling me. But this year was the second year and everybody assumed it was going to be a little bit busier. But honestly, it was not. It was still pretty dead. It was pretty quiet, which was nice for us working security guards. Because it's kind of like a relaxed and quiet shift. We didn't have to worry about anything. We weren't really doing that many patrols because there was nobody there. We still had surveillance that was covering the cameras. So if anything was going on, they would just radio us. There wasn't that many table fills. There wasn't honestly that much to do that night. And the best part about me working that night is not only did I get paid time and a half, but there was also for us security guards that worked that night, we all chipped in and one of the guards went and purchased a bunch of food at Costco. We had sandwich platters and salads and I brought chips and we had a whole basically a feast for Christmas and that was kind of our reward for working overnight on Christmas uh, Christmas Eve going into Christmas Day and that was a nice treat for us it was kind of relaxed there wasn't much to do and it was honestly a peaceful night now that was awesome the next day was also time and a half and that's in Canada Boxing Day which is for everyone else just the day after Christmas um, normally retail stores, there's a lot of great sales, but working uh, New Year's, or sorry, working Boxing Day at a casino, it was honestly quiet as well. Got time and a half that day also, but to me, it was extremely quiet. There wasn't much going on. It was just kind of like a regular um, Thursday at the time, so nothing really advanced, nothing really extreme. And then New Year's, I heard from everybody else that New Year's is hectic in there. I've heard stories where you could go and you're trying to play at, uh, for those that are playing on slot machines, that you can't find a slot machine. Every slot machine is taken. There's lineups waiting for slot machines. You're bumping into people. And for us security guards, it's 10-12 after 10-12. So that's intox. So while you're dealing with one intox situa situation and taking them out the door, surveillance is calling for another one. We have to go and do that one. And it was... I was told by all the full-timers and the ones that have been there for years that it's hectic on New Year's. So I was honestly interested in seeing how it was going to be. Of course, I wanted to work it because of the time and a half and I wanted to gain experience, but I didn't think it was going to be as busy as they were letting on. And quite honestly, to me, it was kind of dead. And to me, that was kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted wanted a 
extremely busy night, something that I can uh, say that I accomplished, something that I did, something that didn't phase me, but it honestly just felt like a normal Saturday overnight shift to me. Of course, for New Year's, there was the New Year's crowd, so uh, after the countdown at midnight, starting off for the New Year's, until about 1 in the morning, that's when most of the New Year's goers were leaving and have already left. Right after the countdown ended, I was at main entrance, and it was just a flood of people just leaving the casino, which was awesome to see. So about 1 o'clock, most of the New Year's goers were out. By 2 o'clock, most of the party goers, the ones that were there to drink and have fun and party with their friends, most of them were leaving. And by 3 o'clock, all of the regulars were pretty much leaving like they normally do at that time. So after 3 o'clock, that's when it was extremely dead in there. Nothing was going on. There was a lot of people at the table games, at poker and blackjack and stuff like that. Not too many people at slot machines. You could literally walk the gaming floor. And that's what it normally is working night shift. After about 3 o'clock, it is extremely dead in there. For New Year's, they actually had the band play until 2 o'clock. So upstairs was still busy until 2. But like I said, that's whenever the party goers, because the band was leaving, the drinks are, it was basically last call for drinks. And once 2.30, almost 3 o'clock hits, there cannot be any alcohol in the gaming floor or in the casino. So that's when most people were leaving. So it was, like I said, kind of extremely busy for us at main entrance. We didn't have to do anything else on the gaming floor, such as uh, intoxes. There was surprisingly zero intoxes this year. I was surprised. There was a lot of people drinking. They were giving away free champagne and free stuff like that. So we expected a lot more intoxes. That did not happen. There was no table fills. There was no... Nothing for us to do other than at main entrance. We had a ton of IDs to do. There was normally one of us at main, main entrance. For New Year's, they had two people at main entrance. And then there was a third person at the main entrance that was just stopping people bringing drinks out. Because they can be upstairs with drinks. They can be in the gaming floor with drinks. But they cannot go up the stairs and go out the front door with the drinks. So we basically had to have a guard there to stop them. And that's what I did. Every time I was on patrol and I wanted to go and check out and see what was going on upstairs with the band and how the layout of it was, I couldn't because I was asked by the supervisor to stand up front and make sure nobody brings drinks through. So that's for the most part what we did the whole night. We just ID'd people at main entrance and stopped people with the drinks until about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Then there's no alcohol anyways. It was extremely dead at that time. Everybody mostly left at that time after 3 o'clock. So it was just the ones playing the table games, and other than that, it was really quiet, which was awesome. And that night, there was no slot drops, so they weren't going around and emptying the slot machines that night because it was a holiday. Normally, they don't work on the holidays, that department. So after 3 o'clock, it was a quiet shift, absolutely nothing to do. We could go sit and just basically chill for the rest of the shift. So working holidays at a casino as a security guard wasn't as hectic as some of the full-timers let on. I honestly expected it to be a lot worse. Of course, Christmas, I knew it was kind of going to be dead because a lot of people were going to be spending time with their families other than the ones that gamble all the time and that are always at the casino, the regulars that spend a lot of time at the casino. I knew they were going to be there. Honestly, Christmas felt just like a normal Monday or Tuesday overnight where Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty much dead. That's how Christmas felt this year. Boxing Day, it felt just like a normal overnight shift during the week, so it was kind of dead. And then New Year's just kind of, to me, felt like a normal Saturday overnight. Nothing really out of the ordinary for me. Everything felt peaceful, other than there was a lot of people to ID and a lot of people to stop with drinks over New Year's. New Year's, actually, normally there's about 10,000 guests that we have come over at the casino for the whole day. Um, like throughout the day around 10,000 guests this year they were 4,000 short there's only 6,000 guests so it was an extremely quiet year but honestly next year if whenever they come out with a preference for working the holidays I'm definitely going to put in saying I want to work overnights for the holidays because number one time and a half number two it was a very easy shift all three of them they were kind of quiet nothing much going on and I honestly enjoyed it so that's how working overnights at a casino during the holidays was as a security guard. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about my job and talking about 
different things for my career journey. I'll keep you guys updated with anything else, but I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.